We're here with Nicola White, I'm interviewing her, saying about her life story and how she got to where she is right now, as she is the great, she is part of the Great Britain hockey team. So Nicola, how does it feel to be one of the youngest members of the Great Britain hockey team? You know, you don't really think about your age when it comes to sports. I think you just go with the journey and you go with what your training is and then Obviously, we, we always dream about getting there when you're obviously a bit older, so above 21, you just think, that's in hockey, that's my time, that's when you get to the seniors, and you don't really think of age, you just think, I'm with my teammates, and I've reached what um, I've, I've, I've dreamed of, and hopefully that means I've got a few more cycles ahead of me if I'm young. <laughs> um, so why is your supporting idol Kelly Holmes? Yeah, I saw her when I was obviously younger, and... Um, I watched her win, well not watched her, but watched on the telly win her double gold and that was the moment when I thought, I want that. So I think it was the moment when I saw her succeed in what she did and just the elation it gave her and the elation it just gave the nation. I think that's what I felt and I wanted to do. Okay. So apart from playing hockey, what are your other favourite sports and why? So I like playing tennis. Um, in my spare time I like to play tennis uh, and squash because that's what my dad and brothers play. Um, but I think athletics is probably my second best sport. So um, if anything, I would um, I really enjoy doing athletics and like hurdling. I think. Um, will you be competing in the twenty sixteen Olympics? If so, will you be doing hockey? Yes, I would love to be in the twenty sixteen Olympics. You know, our program we've been in has run from two thousand nine. So it's been a three year program for London, and that'll restart again in April two thousand thirteen. So, you know, at the minute, I'm just having a bit of time off and we just, we've gone our separate ways, but I'm hoping to be back in the programme in next year and going for Rio in hockey. Um, so your motto is, a dream doesn't, come, doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. How did you come up with your motto? This is quite a funny story, actually. My nana found it in a newspaper and she rang me and um, it was around the time I think I just kind of made my under-21 debut um, and I was kind of getting somewhere in my hockey career and she rang me and she said, oh, I found a lovely um, um, kind of quote in the paper and I think it just sums you up and read it to me and, and ever since I loved it, I just thought it's really simple, something I can share with um, kids and to inspire them and it's true, it doesn't become, it's not by magic you get there, it's by really working hard. Um, if you weren't a hockey player, what would you be? I think I'd be... Um, I was, would want to stay in sports, so I would be an athlete and I'd do um, probably hurdling or something. But I'd, athletics front, I think. Um, do you have a fitness routine? And if so, what is it? Uh, yes, we do have fitness. So we, for the last cycle, for the three years um, in London, we've trained every single day, twice and sometimes three times a day. So it really has been full on. But, um, you know, that's part and parcel of what we do. And we want to be the fittest team at the Olympics. That's what we wanted. And so to get that, you have to train really hard every day. And it worked out, I think, about 20 hours a week on the pitch or, phys or in the gym or physically working out to the highest level. Um, but plus, obviously, your meetings, it works out quite a busy week. Um, do you have any, like, superstitions before each match? Yes, um, actually, <laughs> on the bus... Uh, on the way to, so when we go to a game, you obviously travel, and we always, I always sit next to the same person, we have, in the same seats, uh, we have the same, like, same sides, we listen to the same music, in the same order, so that's the kind of routine I have with the music, and it, it makes you feel ready and prepared, and then when we're at the ground, we sit in the same seat, so once you've sat in the seat, that is your seat for the tournament, so I have the same seat, and apart from that, I think I, I'm a bit flexible, I, th I think I do do things without in the same order without thinking I do so it's not a superstition but I do things in a set way but it's not a superstition but I like to do them things. Um, what made you pick hockey? Uh, so at school obviously I played my P, did my P lessons and we did loads of sports I did every single sport but hockey just had a I don't know I had an edge I just I, ever since I started I loved it um, probably because there's a bit of skill involved so it's not just running and it's got a bit of a fun element, it's fast and you're the team, you get to you get the success of scoring a goal and I don't know, just there was lots of different elements I think that made me love it. <laughs> I fell in love with it. So if you could go back in time, when would it be and what would you change? Oh <laughs> Um 
Tough question. Um, I think the only thing I could change really is going back to the Olympics and winning that semi-final and then being in with a chance of winning the gold medal. Um, obviously, it was a really tough time for the team and we tried our hardest, but you know, obviously missing out to Argentina and losing the semi-final. So I think if we could change that moment, win the semi-final, get in that bronze um, gold medal playoff and it's anyone's game. Um, so, what has been your most memorable achievements? Achievement, or plural achievement. Um, yeah, just. Yeah. Um, I think this, <laughs> this one is like, you know, this is what I've dreamed of for since I was seven. So this is this medal that epitomizes everything that I am, and um, obviously it's been a long time to get there, but um, I've stuck with it and I've put all the hard work and I've committed to the program. And this is what we've come away with, and it's such a massive achievement for our squad from where we came from after Beijing. Um, so I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to have this. Okay. This is uh, Yasmin and Rob Shah interviewing Nicola White for EC Community School. Thank you. Thank you.